Back to that market, still up over 100 points, and there's still plenty of green among the Dow 30. Let's bring in Christian Magoon, CEO of Amplify ETFs. All right, Christian, is the rally back on track now that we're up another 100 points? Yes, yeah, Stuart, I think it's game on here. There's some great news coming out about the economy. Uh, these tax cuts and these worker bonuses are coming online. So, yeah, I think uh, we've got a nice uh, run going into uh, the beginning of 2018. Uh, very encouraging for investors. We've had several big-time analysts and strategists on the program today, important people who know what they're talking about, and at least two of them have said, you look down the road and this market is going much higher and corporate profits are also going much higher. Do you share that very bullish view? I do. I think the risk is missing out on the upside here. I don't think there is as much risk of downside. Uh, again, economic numbers are steadily improving. We're seeing some good corporate numbers. These tax cuts are going to be very beneficial to corporations. And guess what? The consumer is getting uh, not only a bit of a tax cut, but also some interesting worker bonuses. That should be great. Remember, consumer spending is a big portion, about 80 percent of U.S. GDP. Now, I want to talk about Bitcoin for a second because it's down big again today. It's dropped about 50 percent from its high last month. Give it summarize. What's going on here? Because that, that's quite a come down for Bitcoin. It was 20 grand. Now it's 9,600. What's going on? Well, Bitcoin is a global market, but the majority of trading in Bitcoin actually comes from Asia. And over the last week, we've had news from South Korea and China that has been uh, kind of harsh towards cryptocurrencies in terms of trading and mining. Uh, so that's taken some of the buyers off the table and caused angst in the market. Uh, some are even wondering, will the U.S. or other countries be next to kind of clamp down from a regulatory standpoint? So you have to be careful with Bitcoin. And uh, we're seeing a correction. We've seen a lot of corrections of this size in those cryptocurrencies, uh, not exactly uh, as uh, maybe uh, uh, easy to invest in, if you will, than equities, because the volatility both on the upside and the downside can be massive here. Okay, now, the blockchain, the underlying technology of, of cryptocurrencies, you've got an ETF uh, that has begun trading today, I believe, and you are putting your money or the money there into this basket of blockchain companies. Uh, so you're putting your trust, your faith in blockchain, not Bitcoin, correct? That's correct. I mean, Bitcoin needs blockchain, but blockchain doesn't need Bitcoin. So we've come out with a portfolio in an ETF format where you can buy the leading companies that are investing and researching on blockchain technology. We think this is going to be transformative. The ticker is BLOK. It just began trading on the NYSE this morning, Stuart. We've had over uh, 300,000 shares trade, which for us is about maybe 10 times the normal interest we get on a first day launch. Now, you... Um um, you put your, the, the Amplify buys into companies or has the shares of companies which use blockchain. Do you have IBM in there? Because IBM is launching a kind of blockchain laboratory. It's exactly right. This is a real uh, technology. IBM is in the portfolio. We also have other companies like Hive Blockchain that are fairly unique and outside the U.S. Uh, if you go to IBM's homepage, you see blockchain as one of their kind of core principles and how they're building out their, their services to other companies. So uh, you see uh, a, 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 a kind of an industry-wide, from financials to technology, grouping of companies that are investing in blockchain. And we're not sure what the winner is going to be. That's why we think buying a basket approach through the block ETF makes sense. Okay, I'm sure you're making a ton of money. Uh, Christian Magoo, <laughs> good luck to you, lad. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Chris.